In this example, I'm going to show you how to convert your PDF file uh, to change the scale using reference. So the first thing you want to do is to get your PDF or DWG file into the model space of your, of your drawing. Um, you can do this several ways. You can either do insert and then you go to attach and you search for the file or you can simply open up your file and go drag and drop. If you do it the drag and drop method, it's the same thing as doing the insert and attach. Um, when you click to place that drawing, it's going to ask you for a scale factor. Of course, your scale factor is going to be one in this case. So I just press enter. Then do you want to rotate this drawing? Of course not. So I'm going to leave it at zero and press enter. And there goes my drawing inside the model space, the file inside model space. So right now I need to scale this. So I'm going to look for something that is uh, a number that is um, even and uh, simple to use. So right now I see 40 at the top. Okay, so no problem, I'm gonna use 40, it's an even number. So the first thing I wanna do, um, in this case, I'm going to just change the, the, the fade on the image so that it's kind of, um, it's, it's not as bright as it is right now. So I'm gonna to go to fade and bring it down a little bit. All right, I did that because I want to be able to see whatever lines I'm drawing behind and drawing over it just in case it is too bright for what I'm doing. So now I'm going to go back to the Home tab. I'm going to select uh, the Line tool and I'm going to zoom in because I want to draw a line that represents this 40 feet. So I'm going to zoom in as far as I can and I'm going to click the first edge Make sure I have ortho on, make sure my lines are straight, and then I'm going to click the next edge. All right, so right now this line represents 40 feet. So I'm going to move that away from the drawing. That's 40 feet according to this drawing, but it's not 40 feet. It's not correct. All right, this is 40 feet based on this drawing. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw another line that is the real 40 feet. So I'm going to draw that line lined up with this, same direction, 40 feet, four, zero feet. So that line is the real 40 feet. And you see how much longer that is. All right. So now all we have to do is scale this image in using this line, the original line as a reference, and we scale it to the proper 40 feet. So now all we have to do is scale, scale, select the image, enter, select a base point. And if you look at the command bar, it says copy or reference. You're going to select reference. So I select reference or you can type R, enter, reference. And it's going to ask you to select a baseline again, a base point again. So I'm going to select my base point again. Then I'm going to select the other end. Then I'm going to zoom out because I need to get to the end of the other line. Now I'm not going to click the other end, the end of the, the new line. I'm going to just track it so that it's lined up. Click. And that will give you this. You see now it's much larger than what it is, what it was before. So now, I mean, you can dimension it or you can measure it just to check. And if it's way off, do it again, but it should not be way off if you did it correctly. So I'm gonna dimension this just to see what I have. And it should be, see, 39 feet, 11 and 7 eighths of an inch. That is pretty good, all right? So all you have to do now is just trace over the lines. So I go line, and now I can trace over my lines however I want to. Um, so I'm going to do a quick trace just of the outside edge, not being too accurate here. I'm rushing it. And once you're finished tracing, all you got to do, select the edge, delete, and you have your image that you're trying to trace. And that is how you insert your drawing, scale it using the reference, and tracing it. All right.